Hello everyone. I'm just adding in a bit of oil to the pan. I have three onions which I'm going to peel and chop, which I'm going to show you. I am making a corn mint shepherd's pie, or a corn pie, like a shepherd's pie. Now, with the onion, I've seen something on the TV saying that this is the proper professional way of cutting onions, keeping the root on till the very, very last. So I put it to the test. I chopped all the onions up, there was three of them, and I kept the root till last to see if this worked. There's the root. And this was my first onion that I was chopping up and I struggled. The onions were so strong and they really made my eyes water. So I did it the way I've seen it, keeping the root to laugh. No, the onions were definitely strong and they made my eyes water. But we have to try these things for ourselves to see if it works. So I've added the onions to the pan. The heat is on low and they are cooking slowly. So that's the last of the onions now. So three onions to the pan with oil. The heat is on low. While that's cooking, I'm just gonna show you the garlic, how to prepare it when you're cooking it. Now I'm gonna use the whole clove here. First, I'm just gonna break it all up and get all the cloves single and then take away all the peel that is all loose and move the garlic out of the way and show you a quicker way of peeling garlic. What I'm doing is just crushing down the garlic at the pointed side and put the pressure on with the knife. That is one way of doing it and it loosens all the peel. The other way is putting it into the microwave for about 10 seconds and that also helps to peel the garlic quickly. So I've hit all the garlic pieces with the knife. I do think I might have to go back and hit a couple again. Sometimes if you hit with a, quite a good force, they can get crushed, which is really great because you're going to cut them up into small pieces anyway. So don't forget, all you've got to do is have the pointier side, put the knife on top and hit with your palm down. And what it's done is it's helped me to pick get the peel away from the garlic so much quicker. I'm just showing you here. If it's had a good hit on the garlic piece, the garlic comes away from the peel. Now this is one way of preparing garlic. If you're not that keen on preparing garlic, the other way you can prepare it is putting it into the microwave for about 10 seconds. Now, I'm chopping the garlic up into fine little pieces as much as I can, just showing you here. Once it's prepared, I'm adding it to the onions. So now in the pan, I have onion, garlic and oil. Just give it a little mix and it's turning into a little bit of golden brown. While that's getting cooked, I'm just going to get one teaspoon of jeera. This is optional, you can put less in, you can put more in, go with your own taste buds. In this case I'm putting one whole teaspoon, that's all I'm doing because I'm making, hoping to get two different dishes out of this corn. Now I've got fresh ginger here, I've got quite a good big size of ginger here. I'm going to prepare it, peel it first, and then grate it. Now, sometimes you can get good ginger, and sometimes you can get bad ginger. In this case, I didn't get very good ginger. I'm just showing you here. If you have a look at the ginger closely, we have strands of, well, you could call it hair. That's what my kids call it. 
There's little pieces of strands like hair. That's not a very good piece of ginger. So sometimes you can get a bad piece when you're buying fresh ginger. Just wanted to show you that. I've added it to the pan. So we've got the onions, garlic, ginger, jeera and oil. Now it's coming to a nice little golden brown. Cook it for a few more minutes to add the next ingredients. Keep stirring and keep checking onto the onions. Now here I have peeled four potatoes for the mash because I am making a corn pie. All I'm going to do is chop them up into small pieces so it's quicker for the potatoes to boil and get the mash ready. Just add them to the pan and get it onto the gas to boil. Next, it's the fenugreek. So I just grab myself a handful of fenugreek and I use my hands to crush it. Give it a good old mix and cook it for about two to three minutes. Then I'm using half a can of chopped tomatoes. You can use fresh tomatoes if you have them. For a backup, I always do keep canned tomatoes. I'd put about three tomatoes, reasonable size, so I've used half a can here, only because I didn't have any fresh. Again, I'm going to leave that onto the gas, low heat, cook it for about four minutes. Next, I add in one teaspoon of ground turmeric. giving it a good mix and leave that on low gas, checking onto the uh, potatoes, they're doing nicely. Leave this to cook for about three minutes to turn it and to help it cook, add some boiling water so we've got loose paste. Now I have my corn mince, I have one bag of 500 and two bags of 300. So um, this is the amount of corn I'm adding, so one 500, two bags of 300. I'm going to add it to the ca uh, pan. I left it out, uh, we're frozen, still a bit frozen, so I'm adding it and cooking it on low gas, giving it a good old stir, so the onions are mixed in quite thoroughly to the mince. I did in the 500 first, and now I'm adding in the 300 bags of corn. Next, I'm adding in two vegetable stocks. You can do it either way. You can add it to water, mix it, and add the vegetable stock in. My, the way I've done it, I add in the vegetable stock cubes, and I'm adding my water, boiled water, as I go along, because I don't want it to be too runny. I don't want that much gravy in there, so because I'm going to half the mixture because I'm hoping to make pasties with the other half, but I only want so much for the gravy for the pie, so I'm going to have to do two loads and that's the reason why I'm doing it this way. That's not too bad, give it a good old stir and then I will half the corn. So I'm just giving the corn a good stir. We have a bit of gravy now and I'm adding in half of the green and yellow pepper. I've also added some, a can of spicy kidney beans. They're not too spicy. But to be careful with the little ones, not to make it too spicy because they won't eat anything. This is the canned kidney beans in chilli sauce from Tesco's. The potatoes are done and now I'm just going to make a very simple mash. All I've done is added 350 grams of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of milk. And I'm just mashing it and the butter will dissolve and the mash will be made. 
This is the most simplest mash I'm making. At Christmas time, I do tend to put mustard in, cheese in, and black pepper. And I make two loads. As of half the corn, we've got the pie. The mince is ready. It's got to go into the oven now. Once the uh, mash is done, I'll put it into the oven. Just add in one teaspoon of garam masala, one and a half spoons of pink salt, and I've added in a handful of fresh coriander. Again, give it a good old stir. Putting it onto the uh, pirate dish now. Let that cool down for a bit and then add the mash. All I've done is put the mash on top, used a fork and made the lines. In the oven for a grass mark six for 180 degrees. And there we have the pie. So I'd love to hear from you in comments. Do you have any other ideas for corn? What way would you make your pie? What would you add to it? Let me know in comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And if you like this kind of home videos, home life, cooking, cleaning, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.